Today, we're gonna make a vegan Thanksgiving dinner. Out of my family, I can say that I'm the only vegan and I'm gonna be cooking a vegan Thanksgiving. So this meal is not only delicious, but it's so nutritious, it's all vegan, it's cruelty free. <sighs> it's just amazing, like seriously, so good. Anyways, enough talking. Let's get on with the recipe, shall we? The first thing we're gonna do is our sweet persimmon kale salad. For that, you're gonna need six cups of shredded kale, finely shredded. You're gonna need one apple finely diced, the seeds of one pomegranate, or you can even also use dried cranberries if you want, about one strip of green onion finely diced, and we're gonna do a sweet persimmon dressing. So you want your persimmons to be very soft, like so. And once they're soft, that means that they're ripe. They're not gonna be bitter. They're actually gonna be very sweet and they make a great base for a dressing. So you're gonna put from one to two persimmons in your blender with a little bit of serrano pepper and about a half a cup of water so that it blends well and it's not so thick. Once that's blended, you simply just add it to your salad, mix it really well, and maybe let it sit for around 15 minutes so the kale just gets a little bit more soft. And then also I added the juice of one lime on top because I really like the acid balance with the sweetness and also lime and lemon or any citrus by the matter really helps to break down the kale and make it softer and easier to digest. So now we're gonna make some roasted acorn squash with cranberry, walnuts, quinoa stuffing. I'm really liking the acorn squash this time of year because it's in season and I don't know, there's something about fall and winter that just makes eating pumpkins really, really nice. So first you're gonna cut your acorn squash in half after you've washed them. You're gonna put them in a pan upside down. You can add oil if you want. I personally don't think that they need any. Just like that, you pop them in the oven for 425 degrees Fahrenheit and let them cook around 20 minutes. In the meantime, you're gonna cook your quinoa. Basically, just follow the instructions in the bag and you're good. So it's gonna be one cup of white quinoa and you're gonna see that it's ready when it's fluffy. You wanna be checking it because sometimes it's ready before. And then I also did another cup of tree-colored quinoa. Once the quinoa is ready, you're gonna mix that all with the rest of your ingredients and you're gonna need half of a bell pepper, whatever color you want, finely diced, two cups of finely diced mushrooms, three fourths cup of dry cranberries, one fourth onion finely diced, two garlics finely diced, and then for our seasonings, it's gonna be one teaspoon of thyme, some crushed red pepper, salt, and pepper. You're gonna mix that all really well. And then I also added the juice of half a lemon. And that's it. Then when your acorn squash is ready, you're simply gonna take them out of the oven and you're gonna fill them with, with your quinoa stuffing. Doesn't this look amazing? And look at all the beautiful colors. Colors means different enzymes, different nutrients, vitamins. Ah. So pretty. And I wanna eat this already, but I'm gonna make the mashed potatoes. So for the mashed potatoes, you're gonna need around six potatoes and you're gonna peel them after you've washed them. And in a pot, you're gonna let them boil for about 15 minutes. Once you can put a fork through them, that means they're ready. Then you rinse them out, you put them in a bowl and you're gonna add half a cup of almond milk, one garlic finely diced, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of paprika, salt and pepper you're gonna get your potato masher and just mash that all up really, really well to make a puree. And then after that, you're gonna add one green onion finely diced and mix that in with the potatoes. Yum! Okay, now instead of gravy, I decided to switch it up a little bit and we're gonna put some sauteed mushrooms. And for that, you're gonna need one to two garlics finely diced and you're gonna put them in a pan with a little bit of water until they heat up, maybe get a little dark. After that is heated, you're gonna add your mushrooms, around two cups, four cups, it depends how many people are gonna eat. And then to season them, it's gonna be one tablespoon of nutritional yeast. I ended up 
adding more because I just like that cheesy flavor that it adds to food. One teaspoon of thyme, a teaspoon of parsley, salt, pepper, and then finally, one tablespoon of coconut milk. My coconut milk got hard in the fridge, but if yours isn't hard, it's fine as well. And then you just mix it all up really well, and they're gonna be ready in like two to three minutes. Super easy and fast. And then you just serve your mashed potatoes, and then on top, your mushrooms. Doesn't this look amazing? And now I'm gonna serve the plate for Thanksgiving. So it's gonna be two halves of acorn squash, but you can eat however you want. Remember that eating plant-based is not about limiting yourself. It's about eating until you're satiated. I'm gonna add some salad and then finally some mashed potatoes with the mushrooms on top. Yum! Can't wait to try it. it looks so good. Okay, let's see. Cheers. Mm, mm, mm. Seriously, I just love how soft pumpkin is. And with all the textures of the quinoa and the flavors, woo! I think this was like probably, I don't know if this is my favorite, but I love mushrooms. Cheers. Mm, 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 mm. This salad is like, I've been making it for years and I really like it. Mm-hmm, mm, 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 mm. mm. So, so good. And of course, you can accompany this with a slice of a vegan pumpkin pie. And I will leave the link to this recipe in the description of this video. You can also find it in my channel. But seriously, doesn't this look amazing? I bet when I make this for Thanksgiving, everyone's gonna be like wanting to try it. I bet, it looks really, really good. So if you guys like this video, please give me a like and let me know if you guys like these types of videos where I show like a complete dinner. And if you do, I can do more uh, recipes like this because it's not just like one recipe. It's like a whole meal. Subscribe here if you have not subscribed and also to my website ravana.com. I'm working on an ebook that's coming out in January 2017 filled with amazing raw vegan and vegan recipes that are just gonna be oh my gosh so so good seriously like really good. <laughs> Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat all at Ravana. Okay? Love you guys. Sending you lots of love and light and I'll see you in the next video. Okay? Bye!